have dire news. Abaddon's fleet has attacked the Fularis system, the location of Blackstone Fortress 1. I sent a rescue fleet into the system, and they brought back a personal log of Lieutenant Elijah Borgia of the Vindictive, a Dominator-class cruiser. We discovered the wreckage of the Vindictive drifting towards the central star of Fularis. Admiral Spire, listen carefully to the log we recovered. I believe you will find it very illuminating. We are in luck today. Abaddon's fleet has attacked from the other side of Fularis too, which means they'll have to risk the orbital and planetary defense systems to get to Blackstone 1. We have only just upgraded our weapons on Fularis 2 for just such an occurrence. And I doubt that even with his two fortresses, our enemy will survive. Lord Admiral, the system seems like they're prepared for a serious fight. Surely they must have dealt significant damage to the Chaos Fleet. Listen to the rest of the log, Spire. The two Blackstones have taken up station 5,000 leagues from each other, some 75,000 leagues from Phalaris II, and just out of range of the weapons platforms, except for the torpedo launchers. We're picking up an energy surge in the two fortresses. They're powering up for something. Tech Priest Flavix says there's some kind of energy exchange between them. Empress Chief, I can see it myself now. A column of shifting energy linking the two fortresses together. The surge is still rising. The power beam becoming more visible. The damned Astra Park is screaming now, yelling something about a breach into warp space. What hellspawn trick are they up to? Oh my. The personal log ends here. The other evidence we recovered from the region points toward a beam of warp energy unleashed upon Fularis II. The Vindictive was fully caught in the blast. Its void shields overloaded instantly, and its outer hull vaporized as the energy wave passed over the ship. Blackstone Fortress I has not been found. We must assume that Abaddon now has three Blackstone Fortresses under his command. And they decide to have the gall leave me hanging here, with no recourse of what to do about this. Well, I was excited first about get being rid of the Eldar threat now that I'm allied with them, and now the orcs. And then I find out that Abaddon has been having his fun without me to stop him. Oh well, I got four deployments available to me. I got two ships that quickly upgrade, so I think I should do that. I don't believe they actually have an upgrade available though, but I can upgrade the crew, which is better than nothing. I am definitely happy with it. So, begs the question, do I fully upgrade the servitors or not? Pro probably not. I'll upgrade the ratings, because while I'm content making this a Space Marine favorite ship, Oh, speaking of which, is it able to? Aw, oh, so... So damn close, and there are 70 more Renown is all I need, so... One more mission, folks, and my entire fleet should, in theory, be fully upgraded. At least favored. And this is my Overlord, so... What do I want to upgrade here? Probably the Tech Priest. And that maxes out Servitors. Master Gunner and Tech Priest, and... With three more potential levels, I can max out one more, so... Might be the writings, we'll think about that. Nothing else got leveled up, so... Let's continue on with the missions, shall we? We got two to choose from, and they are all centered around chaos. It's nice to not have to pick and choose anymore. I say that as... I am at risk of 24 worlds being conquered, currently, or being harassed, so I still got some things to do. And I have a portal world which has to be dealt with. It is a planetary assault, so that's scary. So let's get out of the way ones I don't care about. At least some more my let's see, what are the major ones actually? Just the portal world, and there's one here for Inquisition. And what is this scope supposed to be? Oh, combat. That's for experience, so that's not bad too. And that's a combat point mission. Oh god. Well, I guess I may as well do the planetary defense and get that out of the way, because I want to defend this portal world, and heaven forbid I fail this, I can always do it again. Or emperor forbid, I guess, in this case. And at least that way I won't be screwed over by the minimized deployments like I did before. So 600 points, do I 
take my retribution or not. I'm kind of overthink. Feel like I'm starting to overthink the situation of what I'm gonna encounter because of that damn Hulk, Space Hulk. But this is gonna be a pretty damn generic battle, so maybe I don't have to worry so much. So, I can go. Let's see. I probably want stasis fields because these are gonna be really handy. So, if I were to go battleship, what can I have for stasis bombs? Just mainly one stasis bomb there on top of the other one. So I don't think I want to do that. Hmm. I could take the Mars. Take the Gothic as well. And those are like my only two main ones. And the Overlord too. But that seems really top heavy. I don't know if I want to do that. It adds up it adds up perfectly in terms of points, but I miss out on the torpedoes. So if I take out the Overlord, I can at least take two Mark Dauntless Mark II's, which sounds a little bit better, I think. I just lack another stasis bomb. But I also have a Widowmaker, which doesn't really help too much here as far as detect them early, I guess. Hmm. I don't want to get too top-heavy. Hmm. I think I'll go with this, though. I should be alright with two stasis bombs and... Assuming... Oh, wait. I'm the attacker. I'm an idiot. I'm overdoing it again. Because I'm always assuming I'm the one under assault here. Because after all, the entire gothic sector is under attack. So I keep forgetting the fact that I may occasionally be the attacker. So that changes things a bit. So I think I am okay with taking the retribution. Take some Dauntless Mark II for a torpedo. Hmm. I may have to take some Mark I's possibly. Because I can't get anything smaller. Uh, we'll take the regular Dauntlesses. That gives me the points I need. And they're all set around supporting my retribution. And we're going to have ourselves some fun wrecking some chaos. This should be a very straightforward battle, right? They're not going to throw a curveball at me after the battle I have to do. Deal with the chaos, right? Or Space Hulk. Chaos, what the hell am I saying? I'm fighting chaos right now. I am really throwing a whack right now as a result of having to spend all that time on Space Hulk. So, my best option is to stay close to the middle. Gotta be mindful though of getting myself into trouble from the majority of their fleet, but get in the middle so I can respond quickly to wherever I need to deploy myself without having to spread up my fleet. So I like this idea. And at the same time, it could do some damage to the beacons. But with only two ships I could torpedo, that may not be as effective as I like. Cogitators. We'll see. Killing these things are going to be a must, though. If I can get away with it, I don't see why the hell I shouldn't. Now, watch carefully. I want to hit those with both torpedoes. That the looks good. Orders. What about the other one? Come on. A little bit further. A little further. So those are four torpedoes that should hit without a doubt. I should be good there. It's just a matter of cleaning up afterwards because it's not quite going to do the 200 points of damage are required. And I was not paying attention to the minimap, but we got two ships here and I'm certain there's more. Either in a nebula cloud or just masked. Actually, speaking of which... Is there any indication of like a Siege Nebula Cloud or something around? That would give away if there's more. It stands now, there probably isn't. There, there's some good damage. Sadly, it's repaired to fire immediately, so that sucks. Changing course. And I'm not quite in range yet. Just give me another... Course oh wait, what am I saying? I can fire more torpedoes, so this is a good opportunity to do that. Dauntless says you hold your spot. I did burn your retros, right? Yep. Yes. You burned your retros. I'm okay with this. Aim torpedoes for one more pass. Just a little further. I don't think it's going to kill it. I, w I can dream, I guess. But the repairs are probably going to negate all the damage on it. Which is a little unfortunate. There. Everything's moving. Torpedoes are away again. And we have one minute before I have to actually respond to any threats. And there they all are. Five ships. 
I have no beacons, which is something I may have neglected to consider very much. And that's not quite going to kill it. It's going to do a crap ton of damage to it, but it's not going to kill it. And I'm no, especially not with that one torpedo destroyed. Now let's boost out of here. Actually, this is a good opportunity to make a warp jump out. Just keep going. Just keep going and destroying them all. And once I detect them... Well, thankfully, the stasis bombs are kind of like overlapping each other. So I'm okay with this. My retribution is taking a crap ton of damage, so let's fix this. So C is for the shield transfer. No, that was not C, damn it. I tried to learn my hotkeys and it did not work out the way I like. It's a little unfortunate. And there's a standard cruiser I'll happily deal with. Battle cru battleship's gonna get out of that and into another stasis bomb. So this is a little unfortunate. Do I even kill that thing? I think I killed it. Yeah, that's one beacon down. Holy crap, that mission deployment's far away. Why has it picked the worst potential spots for me? I think I have to let that go, in all honesty. I have to let that beacon go. Or bombardment spot, because there's no way I can get that without... Well, I sh Yeah, especially with like three ships in the way. So maybe not the... I, sh Ugh. I should let it go, because I got two cruisers in the way. That's my justification for it, so... I'm, I'm going to take a bit of fire from it. Let's see. Retribution just lost the shields. Recharge in a hurry. And let's see. There's no way to detect that thing, so... I'm left to have it shoot at me freely for the time being. Understood. Impervious the shields active. Frigate's gone. And you are going to go and detect that ship for me, which apparently is a battleship, actually. So that is so important to try and fight. I need to detect that thing quickly for my retribution. So there's my focus. Keep an eye on the timer for the next objective. Because this one Dauntless can actually go over there. Come on. Sense of range is crap. I know. <laughs> I kind of wish I had some. Oh wait, do I have? I have a. I'm an idiot. I have a gothic thing. I have my tar off to detect this. That would have been a lot nicer if I even thought about that earlier. Underway. So now I'm in good shape. Now that I actually remember that ability. And my dauntless here is about. I'm. Uh, Ten seconds. I might as well have it in position because these cruisers are now out of the way. The Retribution just did a crap ton of damage. It's going to have some support from my two uh, cruisers here, so I'm going to boost the shields up. And I love to hit more torpedoes on this, so... Retribution, you start turning the other way. And I have to keep in mind this has a speed boost, so... I'm going to have to time this torpedo run properly. There, that should be a good hit there. Now turn, lock on, let's see, next bombardment is 30 seconds. And yeah, there's only one beacon over here, so this thing could practically take on the beacon by itself. You're going to turn, melt the torpedoes hit. I have 9 seconds for more torpedoes, so i got to be ready for that. Gothic, you turn. Re boost the shields, because why not? And now, let's see, is that the Gothic? No, that's the Retribution, so... Retribution, you're gonna have a field day. I'm gonna wait for the next shot, Salvo. And where's the next deployment? Perfect. At least this time a little more prepared. Where is it? Oh, it's way up over there. So you go over there, Retribution. I'm still waiting for your Salvo. There, that's what I'm looking for. That is what I'm looking for now. Murder it. There is no way it's not going to get hit by some of these torpedoes. Oh, there goes half my torpedoes right immediately. Actually, screw trying to play tactically. Let's ram it. 
Although that may not have been the best idea considering I am kind of like taking a bit of damage. Uh oh. It's already warping out. There's no way it can stop that, is there? Oh, the engines got destroyed perfect, so it actually did pay off on the first attempt, surprisingly. I'm a bit shocked, to be honest. Stupid stasis bomb got in the way, so I think I'm okay. I just gotta boost immediately and keep an eye on that thing so that doesn't happen again. It's gonna be so important to not have it. God damn, these. God damn, these stasis bombs are annoying. I still have 30 seconds, so I think I'm okay. And what is there left? One ship over there. And one that's kind of harassing my cruiser. So I gotta be careful of that. And I should be okay. It's looking like I got it. Because that was both the stasis bombs, unless there's a third one I'm not aware of. So, gotta... Let emergency repairs do a thing and try and go up. Actually, I should go after yes, a ship Emperor. here. Hopefully, this battleship debris does not mer hinder my opportunity to get through here. Nope, I your got. Orders. I think I may have not taken damage. Understood. I'm hoping I didn't. I was not paying attention what his health was before. That might have been ship good to have thought of it ahead of time. Oh, and I can identify this last cruiser, and I should be okay on that front. Ooh, and I almost flew into a mine, so... Good thing I ran out of boosters. Yep. And there's another ship somewhere up there, because I see fighters being launched, so... Let's deal with this. And, although my Dauntless is kind of in the way, so I need to adjust this. Get out. Reposition. Defiant Ascension, you're going to be getting... You are going to initiate not getting hit by torpedoes. Generators got destroyed, so you're not going to have any shields for that matter either, apparently. So that should be a good hit. Wow, it's going to dodge almost all of them. And none of my Meltas did damage. That sucks. My Dauntless here is fine. Okay, so this Dauntless is making its way over, and it's going to regroup of everything else as I think the plan. You are going to... Dodge the stasis bomb while it stasis itself conveniently. The poor thing. I feel sorry for chaos. They're resorting to uh, trapping their own troops in their own stasis bombs, basically to try and stop me, and it's not working out very well. Needless to say, and it gave me 300 points of damage, which I don't have any more plasma bombs. So, oops. We'll let it take the hit and then murder it. Oh, more fighters. I have a, I have a tar rod available, so this is perfect time to activate it. Now just smash it. Cancel warp fail. Cancel warp. I can't quite board it. Holy! Damn, that was fast. Now you can tell why I'm so afraid of assassination missions later on down the road. Because that would not realistically be possible to stop a ship of any kind. Because I think maybe it's what, if I were to warp out it would maybe be 10 seconds? And each upgrade to the, a the navigator it reduces that by 2 seconds, 2 and a half seconds, so... Basically it'll warp out almost immediately as a result. So yeah, there's a reason why I do not like assassination missions and data recovery to an extent. Not including the part where I fail horribly at data recovery. Let's ne never mind that thought, so... We successfully got that second one done. My, oops, my boosters accidentally ran it out there, that was a mistake. But that should be okay there. And this cruiser... Is going to get horribly murdered in a moment. Let's see, just fire on it, lock on everything. While I keep an eye on my Nyx objective. Let's see, Dauntless is taking beatings. It just took a hull breach, so that's not pleasant. 
And where's my gothic? Okay, gothic. My fleet's kind of getting spread a little bit. And barbar mission is to back the way I came, so... Gothic, you are nicely, conveniently close, so you're going to intercept that. Am I wrong, or was that the exact same position as last time? It's pretty damn close, I'm not gonna lie. Massive, massive broadside. Now we're gonna follow it up with some massive, massive volley of torpedoes. Hopefully these fighters don't wreck these uh, torpedoes too quickly. Damn it! You picked a horrible time to warp. I want to... Ooh, this is going to be the last bombardment I just realized, so this is going to be over by the time we get to that. Which is a little bit unfortunate, damn it! Okay, I was worried I was going to get away. Lance cannons activated just in time. And then everything else is running away as a bonus. Safe to say, mission complete. Yeah, I don't even... Well, there is still one cruiser, unless that's warping out. No, it's still firing, so... Orders. Mission complete. We can go home. We secured the plant back in the name of the Emperor. That was nice and relaxing. Besides the part where I was trying to fight for my life there. It was relatively relaxing. Dauntless now level 8, so... We are moving up in the world. There's just two more levels for basically all my cruisers now. Or actually, I think one of my Mark IIs is still maybe one or level seven. So either way, what I'm most excited about. And yeah, one of my Mark IIs is still level seven. What I'm most excited about after I remember what I put upgrades into, which I think was the Servitor. I, well... Never, we'll, we'll talk about that in a moment. We know. We probably know what I'm referring to. I have the Renown now. 50 Renown, so that's not a big deal. I can easily upgrade. Relatively cheap. Now, the Retribution is going to get a nice little makeover. So, Inquisition to give all my crew free points. Make it more reliable and make it more effective in everything. Or better boarding potential and better troop value, which... I'm not going to think oversink it too much there. I think this may be useful for me. I like it. As much as I get such a massive favor reduction for the Inquisition, I think I'm going to give the Savior Retribution the honor of fielding some Space Marines for me. The Adeptus Astartes are prepared to continue. It's not that dramatic a change as far as the like Inquisition, but... Now my entire fleet is all blinged out, for lack of a better term. And I am so excited to see how this performs now. With all its extra boring potentials, or boarding attempts, the additional upgrades on top of that. And as I get more upgrades, I want extra teleportariums, I think, to really boost the Terminator squad's effectiveness. Exciting times for all is to be had. 